Statements were made. It's time to overreact to week seven. The sky was falling in Dallas. Stephen A. was laughing. Doug Peterson was predicting. But it was them boys who walked the walk, bulldozing, juking, and beating down the Eagles. Dallas takes hold of first place, and for Philly, it's getting ugly. Speaking of ugly, Mitch Trubisky, gross. The Bears had the Saints at home without Drew Brees and Alvin Kamara, and they still got the doors knocked off them. Lamar and the Ravens went into Seattle and knocked off the Seahawks, and Earl got his revenge. Be honest, Houston, when Andrew Luck retired, you thought that this division was going to be a cakewalk, didn't you? How about now? In the battle of the top two rookie quarterbacks, both at times looked like two rookies. But don't look now, the Cardinals have won three straight games. They won three games all of last year. So I think LaFleur and Rodgers found their groove. The Packers QB was perfect, and at 6-1, and one, it's fair to say that this may be the best Packers team Rodgers has had in a long time. Another team and QB we need to start respecting? The Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, Kirk Cousins heard you, feels you, and is proving you wrong. I think we can already give out the award for most disappointing team of 2019. Unequivocally, it's the Atlanta Falcons. Like Devontae Freeman picking a fight with Aaron Donald, what in the world were we thinking that this team was going to be any good? They're not. The Chargers are runner-up in the Disappointment Award. Who would have thought Melvin Gordon would have cost the Chargers their season on the field? Oh yeah, by the way, Niners are still undefeated. Not even Mother Nature could give them an L. Hey sports fans, you want to see more videos like this? Check out some of our other videos right here. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And stick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.